for many of us, 2023 is the year that AI was here. And that is a technology to be reckoned with. Its rapid advances have left us grappling with profound questions. What does this mean for our economy, our society, and ourselves? We've all read the scary stories, and so we ask, what if these advances are not for the better, but for the worse? I've been investing in AI startups for the last decade. Every day, I meet with entrepreneurs building with AI. Through these countless conversations, I've developed deep conviction that a future with AI is not just bright, it's radiant. Far from an existential threat to humanity, AI is a tool that can bring us more abundance than we can imagine. Throughout history, we've invented technologies that extend our abilities. The wheel extends our motion. The camera extends our sight. The computer extends our cognition. Such extension is also the nature of our relationship with AI. Rather than us versus them, AI promises a future, a future more prosperous, more equitable, and more human. Here's how. Imagine you're alive in 1900, and I tell you that by 2023, most jobs that, that exist will disappear. Panic, right? Well, fast forward to today, and we have more jobs with higher wages than ever before, most of which are in fields that were unimaginable a century ago. This trend will persist with AI. So let's look at an example in history. This is an advertisement by a chemical bank showcasing their first ATM. <laughs> Not surprisingly, when ATMs were first introduced in the 1960s, everyone braced for the death of the bank teller. But what actually happened? Well, consumers before ATMs to take out cash had to queue in line to see a bank teller during limited hours. With ATMs, they can take out cash anytime they wanted, and as a result, spent more money. Spent, spending more money meant more demand for banking products, which turns out was great news for the bank teller. Bank tellers evolved from just dispensing cash to providing a variety of services. Since then, bank teller jobs have not only persisted, they have grown at a rate faster than the growth of the labor force. Time and time again, a new technology feared as a job killer ends up expanding opportunities. This is because when a good becomes more abundant, we find new ways to use it. This quirk of economics is known as the Jevons paradox. As supply increases, so does demand. The same logic applies to AI. Think of AI as an increase in the global supply of intelligence, which will increase demand for products that will use intelligence. Instead of just automating existing tasks, AI will expand the nature of tasks that we can automate, and in this process, create new jobs for all of us. Another common fear I hear AI will widen the gap between the haves and have-nots. I believe the opposite. I think AI will help level the playing field. Take healthcare, for example. Over 100 million Americans struggle to pay for healthcare. Over 200 million Americans feel what they pay is not worth the cost. I have felt this personally. I was shocked at how much I paid for a 30-minute virtual consult with a specialist not in my insurance network. AI can help solve this by providing personalized healthcare expertise at virtually no cost. It can also help overworked doctors reduce decision-making burden. It can turn the one-size-fits-all paradigm of medicine on its head. It can collect data from our bodies 
and with this data, power simulations to see how our bodies react to certain treatments. Doctors can test multiple treatments before selecting the most optimal one. AI can also fast-track drug development much more affordably. So let's look at how AI can help expand access to education. When I was in fifth grade, I struggled with math. My grandfather saw this, and he tutored me every day. By seventh grade, I was no longer struggling, I was thriving. I went on to win math competitions and chose to study engineering at Berkeley. But not every child is as lucky as I was. In fact, the United Nations estimates that we will need 70 million new teachers globally to provide even the most basic access to education for all children. AI can help fill this gap cheaply. Imagine a child, rich or poor, with an AI tutor tailored to her needs. This AI can be her lifelong companion and help her reskill if she's displaced by the next technology advancement. AI can also translate language in real time. For a child who doesn't speak English, like me when I was 10 years old, this means a chance to break free from the economic barrier set by her native tongue. In fact, without language barriers, researchers from different countries can collaborate more easily, Art, music, and literature will move fluently across borders. Our empathy for different cultures will deepen. AI promises a future where ideas and opportunities are not just for the lucky few, but accessible by all. So, AI promises a future more prosperous and more equitable. But will it take away what it means to be human. I don't think so. I think AI will magnify the importance of traits that make us uniquely human. Let's first look at how an AI works. AI is simply a machine that makes predictions. It makes predictions based on data. Take Netflix, for example, which looks at what you've watched before to predict what you want to watch in the future, or Google Maps, which looks at prior driving times to predict future driving times. These prediction machines have been around a long time, 80 plus years, and have evolved largely thanks to a decrease in computation cost. A recent entrant, ChatGPT, which is trained on billions of digital text, Wikipedia, books, ChatGPT predicts what a human might write. So does ChatGPT think that it's human? Well, let's ask it. No, I'm not human. I'm ChatGPT, an AI language model. All right, let's look at how a human works. So yesterday morning, I woke up to the sound of my cat, Mimi, purring, and I felt my heart swell with love. Later, I felt guilty when I remember I forgot a friend's birthday. And then I felt worried when I thought of my aunt who recently had a stroke. By this point, I was running late to work and I felt anxious, and so I texted my coworker, sorry, five minutes late. The only data that an AI can capture from my morning is, sorry, five minutes late. None of the emotions, the memories, the millions of neurons, the essence of me is captured by this prediction machine. AI only uses what I write, which is a tiny output of how I feel and what I've experienced as training data. Could it predict what I would do? Absolutely not. Could it at some point capture more of my emotions? Possibly, but it will be a very tall order. AI will not become us. It is fast and efficient, but it lacks our emotional depth. Our capacity for empathy, compassion, and self-awareness are traits that are uniquely ours. For example, an AI can flag signs of depression from speech and text patterns, but only a doctor can sense a patient's fear and say, we will get through this together. An AI can generate infinite content tailored at a child's needs, 
but only a teacher will inspire the dreams and hidden talents of a struggling student. An AI can translate and filter resumes, but only a recruiter will sense the raw drive of a non-English speaking mother. And remember my grandfather, the one who tutored me math? Well, he's now 107 years old. <laughs> and he lives in China. He often complains of loneliness. Uh, what's worse, though, is due to COVID restrictions, I couldn't visit him in person for the last four years. So we asked AI to help. He loves Sapiens, a book about human evolution. So I use an AI recommendation system to find more books like that for him. His mobility is limited, so we installed a video conferencing system with an AI that tracks his motion. And yes, these AI systems have enriched his life, but nothing can compare to the love and deep human connection we both felt when I was finally able to make the trip last month. When we pair our strengths with those of AIs, matching our emotional smarts with its scalability and speed, we can achieve far more than we could alone. If we get this partnership right, we will usher in an unprecedented future, a future more prosperous, more equitable, and more human. AI's advancement is inevitable, but its path is ours to shape. Without doubt, it comes with serious risks. Concerns about misinformation, job displacement, and cyber attacks are real. But it's important to remember that we can mitigate these risks. We'll need to create new policies and change existing ones. We'll need to use AI to fight AI. But the benefits to humanity are far too great for us not to continue advancing AI's frontier. And that's why I've dedicated my career to doing so. Thank you.